Hello everyone, this is Brandon, and welcome back to Brands Tech. How are you all? I hope that everyone's been doing well. So in today's video, I will be discussing my top favorite tech books for you to read in 2021. Let's get to it. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and start off from the first book that I'm recommending for this video. Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson is the official biography of Steve Jobs written right before his death on behalf of Steve Jobs himself. And this, if you can't tell, is a rather thick book. But what's interesting is that it doesn't actually start with Apple, but rather it ends with Apple um, when he returned to it um, within the early 2000s. And this is such a really interesting book. Especially because it not just involves his time at Apple or the other computers and the other companies that he had worked at, such as Next Computers and Pixar. They, it really also touched on his personal life. And some stuff many people who even adore Steve Jobs don't even know. And so, overall, I highly recommend this book. I have not finished it yet, but I'm about halfway through it. I started it a few years ago, but... But the book was just overall a lot to take in. But now I'm really ready to continue on and finish this book this year. It's overall really a great read from what um, from what I've read thus far. In fact, it even has a page of characters um, listing all of the people that he mentioned of significance in the very beginning of the book. And so most books don't have that. And so I will really say that this is... That this book, if you if you are a fan of Steve Jobs, fan of Apple, this is a must read. I can't wait to actually finish it. And I don't even use Apple products for the most part. So overall, I definitely recommend this book. And speaking of Apple, that actually goes into the second book that I am recommending here for this video. The second book that I am recommending here is I Was by Steve Wozniak himself. If you don't know who he is, he's the other co-founder of Apple, um, and he's the one that originally came up with the first Apple computer. And if you don't actually know, he's actually still employed with Apple, the, um, the longest paid employee there. And this is overall, I think, a really intriguing book, and I have read it, I believe, twice now. Um, a few, I did my second read, I believe, three years ago. And so overall, I think it's a really great book, and it really gives you some insight about you know, the, the real story behind Apple and how really things came to be um, long, even before Steve Jobs was around. Apple actually did ex you know, exist as a concept beforehand and so overall I definitely think that I Was is um, a book that I highly recommend. You can even still see my bookmark still on the page for my notes and so overall I said, I think this is a really great book, and yeah, especially since between this one and Steve Jobs' biography, I think you can get some real insight into really the early days of Apple and how they came to be this company that we all know um, and s some of us love now. And for my third book that I will be mentioning. Um, in this video, as far as um, tech books to read, this one is How Google Works by Eric Schmidt and Jonathan Rosenberg. And this book right here is essentially all about Google, and not necessarily just the stuff you can find online, but some of the inner workings and the interesting facts about it. And so, I really um, enjoyed reading this book. I believe I've read it three times now. It is just such a great book to read, and if you're even in the little bit curious um, of Google, I recommend picking this up. And they have actually have an updated version as of 2015 um, that has new details about um, Google and their parent company, Alphabet. For those of you who don't know, Eric Schmidt is the former CEO of Google. He is the CEO from 2001 to 2011. Meanwhile, Jonathan Rosenberg. Um, he, at the time of writing this, I'm not quite sure about now, but he was the 
um, the advisor to then CEO Larry Page, who's also a co-founder of the company. And the book also does include a foreword by Larry Page. And so overall, I think that this is a great book, and it's somewhat of an easy read as well. And I do highly recommend this book um, to anyone who really wants to find out about Google. But before I end out the video, I did want to go ahead and mention three books that I'm um, currently reading or about to read that I think will probably be great additions um, to this video that I'll probably talk about in a future video. So the first one that I'm going to go ahead and show is Hit Refresh by Google, uh, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella. This book right here talks all about, you know, not just Satya Nadella and what he does at Microsoft, but rather his story um, from his upbringings to, um, to now and his philosophies on life and really his vision of what to bring into Microsoft. And so I think for anyone that's been following Microsoft over the past several years, I think that this is a really good book for you. I'm about halfway through this book as well, and, and I really want to save my opinions and thoughts for when I um, finish reading the book. But overall, um, I'm really excited to continue on with this book. And another book that I did want to mention is the book from Paul Allen himself, um, the late Paul Allen. He is the um, he was the co-founder of Microsoft alongside Bill Gates. And, you know, one thing I'll say about Paul Allen is that he really did everything that he put his mind to. You know, no matter how silly it may have sounded. And so, I, this has been a book that I was really looking forward to reading, but unfortunately he actually passed away um, back in 2018 when I was reading this um, initially. And so I have recently picked the book back up, and so... I do fully intend on finishing this, hopefully in the first part of this year, 2021. But overall, I think that from what I've read thus far, this is also a really great book. And so I can't wait to tell you all my thoughts about it in the future. And then finally, the last book that I want to go ahead and mention right here is Losing the Signal. This book is about the rise and fall of BlackBerry. And if you don't know, BlackBerry is a smartphone brand. Um, that really gained prominence a lot in around 2010. But then it quickly kind of disappeared from public light for many people um, for many years. However, they are actually still rather active um, and still doing their own thing, just in a different way. And so I'm really int intrigued to see how what this book talks about specifically. I heard that it is very much a must-read for anyone who's familiar with the BlackBerry brand, and so I can't wait to tell you all my thoughts about this later. But that's going to go ahead and end out this video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all um, enjoyed it, and will enjoy these books. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll talk to you all later.